cooking, cooking, cooking with coffee. Good morning. Welcome back, everybody. I have a super fun summer dessert recipe. You know, it's beautiful out. Nobody wants to be in the kitchen baking desserts. I, I say keep it easy. That's kind of how I roll. I make one or two things and then, you know, let the grocery store help with the rest. So I even think a, a fancy uh, adult dinner party sometimes just deserves a really casual, easy, roll up your sleeves kind of dessert. So what about pulling out a big tray of brownie sundaes or let everybody make their own? And you don't have to bake brownies. Um, head to fest Festival, all sorts of wonderful gourmet brownies. I happen to love the bad boy brownies. So you can go to the bakery, pick up some brownies, and then just, you know, cut them up into squares. I am going to make a delicious, quick and easy homemade chocolate sauce. And this is something if you're, you know, craving something sweet and chocolatey and you don't happen to have chocolate fudge sauce on hand, no biggie. You probably have some chocolate chips in your pantry for homemade chocolate chip cookies, maybe a can of evaporated milk, and the recipe's that easy. So it calls for one can, a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk, not the sweetened condensed stuff and two cups of chocolate chips. Now you could do semi-sweet, you can do bittersweet if you like a little, you know, darker chocolate or milk chocolate, so it's up to you, but that's it. And I just want to heat those two together. And this sauce will actually keep in your fridge for a week or more, but I think it'll probably get gobbled up before then. So you just very carefully, in a heavy-duty saucepan, melt those chocolate chips and the evaporated milk and then you pull it off the heat and it'll start to thicken up a little bit and just add just a, a dash or so, maybe about a teaspoon of vanilla. And that's it. That's your homemade chocolate sauce. It's nice to kind of keep this on hand in, in a, like a ball canning jar in your refrigerator. And then, like I say, when you're craving something sweet, there you go. That also makes a great sauce for um, a fondue, like if you know, want to just pull a, a great big tray out of fresh fruit, fresh strawberries and bananas and things like that, and have that chocolate sauce warmed up in a little fondue pot, just that easy. Okay, we're gonna go hog wild and make our roll up your sleeves casual, fun summer dessert. I've got some good ice cream. Um, you know, some spurs and got the good stuff, the vanilla bean stuff, which is my favorite. You can really see the the vanilla beans in there. A couple scoops. on top of our brownie. And I tell you, you go out for one of these Sundays, you're gonna pay big bucks for them. Do them at home, a lot cheaper. I'm gonna drizzle some of that chocolate sauce over the top. And see how it thickens up a little bit once it's been refrigerated. A little bit of whipped cream. And don't worry, Pete and Rachel, we'll bring you over a couple of spoons. And then you gotta have the cherry on top. How fun is that? A brownie sundae and just easy, easy, easy. Hey, by the way, the recipe for that chocolate sauce you can get on our website, fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin and recipes. And you know me, I'm always cooking even on the weekends. This weekend I've got a great recipe for you. Um, we're doing uh, shrimp, grilled shrimp uh, uh, cocktail kebabs that are super easy, make a great appetizer, even a great dinner. And stick around because on Living with Amy today, it's our road trip to Wisconsin Dells. We found some great little spots you might know about. Some fun things that, to do that, you know, off the beaten path and some amazing restaurants too. So it's our road trip to Wisconsin Dells, living with Amy, nine o'clock right after Good Day Wisconsin. I'm headed over with uh, two spoons and the Sunday for you guys. Yeah, Pete and Rachel will be right back. So stay with us.